going to introduce the first person, John Ames, uh, from the ECPS department. And the title of his um, presentation, Using Neuro Neuroscience to Inform Writing. My research um, on this um, MA project stems from a um, previous study that I did on um, writing output problems. Um, for students that were uh, or are uh, twice exceptional. Um, this uh, study, um, which I'm calling Writing and the Materiality of Emotion, which I looked at in my previous work, um, really looks at uh, the evolutionary roots of how we understand and create symbolic forms. So I really wanted to explore um, how language acquisition came about. So I looked at a lot of Darwin's works and I uh, look at the neuroscientists. I'll just start with um, three uh, salient quotations, which I think will get us into the heart of where this research is going. Uh, Charles Darwin writes in 1871 that language is the articulation of complex emotions. Uh, a. Damasio in 1991 states that thinking and feeling are part of the same <coughs> process. Uh, R. D'Souza writes that emotions are rational. Um, if we look at uh, these authors here, uh, R. Carter, Why Reading Matters, um, we've got uh, S. Keen, Empathy in the Novel, and um, this is uh, Norm Holland, Literature in the Brain. These are all um, subject matter experts that are really looking at the neuroscience behind what drives uh, the acquisition of uh, learning language and reading, and that leads us into writing, because it's uh, my contention that you cannot uh, learn to write well unless you learn to read well. Um, so really that gets us into narrative educates the emotions. So how does it do that? Um, what we see with the neuroscience is that uh, our mirroring neurons, they actually are vital to learning language, and uh, that uh, it activates an empathy in us, and the narrative in stories is what arguably drives good writing. So that's where my research is heading, is looking at narrative on how that drives the emotions in us through our empathy and spurs writing. Thank you. <laughs> 